going with is that there are, I mean, like that all of the rest of the things on that list, they are all, they all have strengths and they all have weaknesses. They all, they all are going to do better in certain situations as opposed to others. And that I need, that I like, that I myself had been trying to uh, change people, um, and I needed to not do that. Um, and uh, that you know, I mean, the understanding who you are, understanding what your strengths are, understanding what other people's strengths are, being able to embrace those things, and realize that there are certain situations which you can. Which you know, like okay, these are my strengths. Um, now, of course, as individ, you know, um, how did I? Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fuck. I don't fuck. know if I'm in the right place. I just, I just followed one of them, and nobody else is here but the two of us. I don't know if we came to the right spot or not. And Wild carrot. That's what. So whatever. Um, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, the, you know, like if you want to grow as a person, obviously you need to fo you know, like you you need to focus on your strengths, right? Uh, uh, you need to, and you need to improve your weaknesses. There was this, there was something that was said, and there was this is this is, I, I tell all of this stuff, and I rambled a lot more than I had to because I'm distracted by other things. And I apologize about that. Um, anybody that knows me at all or has listened to me talk knows that this happens all the time. Whatever. Uh, the, the the important portion of this is that you cannot grow as an individual uh, simply by attempting to work on your on your weaknesses. You cannot grow your weaknesses until you admit your strengths. Uh, so. Admitting and cultivating your strengths is as important for personal growth as admitting your weaknesses. I think that the opposite is true. I think that admitting your weaknesses is far more important than admitting your strengths. Here's the thing. And here's... And well, I'm oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, let me differentiate the difference between you and me and most human beings on the planet. Most human beings on the planet are far more willing to admit their strengths than they are their weaknesses. Me and you, me and you were the same family, and we have the same tendency to admit our weaknesses far before we admit our strengths. It's important for people like me and you to understand where our strengths lie. Well, but I most think, people uh, need to fucking understand that they're not fucking invincible and that they do have strengths or weaknesses. Well, I feel like a lot of people, when they are in social interaction, um, put on the mask of, you know, like, you know, of I'm invincible and I'm a super badass. But when they are alone or in their own minds, they're like, they're just overcompensating for their weaknesses. They're focusing on their weaknesses. They aren't, they aren't, they aren't really accepting that their strengths are worth anything. Uh, no, that's not that's not universally true, um, but my point about and actually I mean it's the point of the author of the uh, of the program that I'm reading, which I will have to look up his name since I'm using his stuff. Um, although it's not exactly a hard concept, uh, it's, it's not something that's an evolutionary leap or anything like that. Um, but uh, was the important point of what he's saying is that how can you have the willpower and the strength and the energy to work on your weaknesses if you don't have your strengths if, if you don't if you don't have something to support you while you're trying to work on your weaknesses that is why is it, that it is it is as important to admit your strengths um Although you do make a good point, Weasel, there are those people that are like, you know, they're blinded by their by their supposed strengths, um, and completely miss the fact that they have weaknesses. Um, but if you are talking about people that are seeking personal growth, most of the time, I'm going, I, I would say, probably almost all of the time, 
anybody that is seeking personal growth is more than willing to uh, to admit their weaknesses. Uh, it's just the recognizing that you need to grow is usually a recognizing of weakness. Recognition hey. of weakness. Hey. Hey. This this whole this whole thing this whole thing that we're encapsulating is very serious business, but it's New Year's Eve. Well, the reason that I got there is because, uh, is because of because my of... goddamn topic. But go ahead, please continue. Yeah, well, it's because you uh, it's because you made the comment about uh, you know about surpassing your surpassing your limitations and, and things like that, and I wanted to. You know, to get on that, because a lot of, I mean, it is New Year's Eve, and what do a lot of people do on New Year's Eve? They set they make New, New Year's, Year's resolutions. Resolutions, yeah. Which, you know, I, I suppose technically speaking, I made a New Year's resolution, um, but it's not really a New Year's resolution. It is, it is more a motto than anything else. I, think that, um, I posted up on Facebook that it, an interesting statement, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that the. I, like 2000, 2012, we had some good times, um, but it's we time did. for a change. Uh, I'm, I, 2013, you don't owe me anything, uh, but I'll make you a promise. I will bring the change. I will bring the excitement, the adventure. All you have to do is be there. 